Hello guys, this is Eamon from Catch Up LLC. I saw this question on the SaltWorks API for the minute. It seems uh, pretty interesting. Josh um, wants to select a feature that exists in, in a subassembly inside a main assembly. So um, I thought it would be a pretty cool idea and showing you, uh, showing you guys how to do that in SaltWorks. Um, we're going to be running a very simple SaltWorks macro with a couple of assumptions um, to make that um, simple. All right, so. Let's just move to SolidWorks here and let me just go to this example that I've just created on the fly. I have just a main assembly that has a sub-assembly and that sub-assembly just for presentation purposes. I have just a simple block in it. I'm going to try to select the right plane here um, that exists in the sub-assembly, right? So the first um, assumption that we're going to make is that we're going to just um, take the first component um, from the main assembly so um, we're not going to be asking the user to select that although it's it, it, it's not that hard it's pretty easy to just um, require the user to select the, the, the component itself and just basically um, select any feature underneath it but there's a trick for that so we need to be sure exactly uh, what context in terms of selection are we uh, working with so um, let's just uh, jump to to the VB editor right here. All right, let me just uh, make sure everything fits perfectly here. So um, I'm just gonna make this type here. I'm gonna specify the type um, because I want to use the Intel IntelliSense that comes with VBA. So that's the SolidWorks application. Um, obviously, I'm gonna need a model doc. So OBSW model as model doc two. I'm also going to need a an array for my components. All right, so that will be a variant. Sorry, variant. Um, before that, I might need an assembly um, variable. So that will be assembly doc. And for my assembly, I'm gonna need a variable of type component 2. Alright, now let's just go ahead and get the active document. So our macro will work um, using the active document. There is no reason here to uh, make any checks of whether the active document is null or whether it's a, it's a drawing or a part that's not necessary for this example. So we can simply do SW model equal to SW app at um, dot active doc. And this will give us the active model in the SolidWorks session. Now let me just add a comment. Get active model in um, the SolidWorks. Sorry, SolidWorks session. Now, now that I uh, we have the active model, I'm just gonna get the assembly. So that gives us the, uh, the the active assembly, and after that, I want to get a an array of the top level components, and this is where you would want if you were to to um, require the end user to um, have the, the component itself. Here in our case, that's going to be subassembly selected. That you would use something like the selection manager in order to get um, the the selection of that subassembly. So we're not going to do that. We're going to get um, the components. So that's uh, from the assembly. So that's components. We'll assign that to SW assembly dot get components. And to make things a little bit easy, I'm just going to get the top level only and I know for sure that at the top level I only have the subassembly here so um, I can safely set the SW component to components at the index 0. Now um, since I have my component here I can pretty much actually get or uh, we'll rather start traversing the features. So one thing, one, another assumption that is pretty cool in this example that um, the, the, the plane that we're going to select 
um, is one of the default the default planes. I'm going to try to select the right plane. So we're going to have to do one iteration at one level. At the top level, then that's going to be um, another iteration. So um, let's just go ahead and declare another variable. I forgot to do that earlier on. So SW feature as feature. And we'll set the feature, so let's go ahead and say get first feature of um, simply SW component. So set SW feature equal to SW component. Um, get rather first feature, right? So we'll now traverse first level so while SW feature is rather while not SW feature is nothing when it's not nothing then just go ahead and traverse but uh, just go ahead and get the feature obviously We'll get the next one here, get the next feature, and um, we're gonna do our check here. So our check is basically a pretty simple check. So if SW feature get type uh, name two equal to rough plane, um, and the SW feature name is equal to right plane, then um, and if here, then um, we're gonna get the name of the part of the feature, but we're gonna get a specific uh, name that we're gonna use for selection. So since this is a feature, the I feature um, interface exposes a property or other a method called get name for selection, and this method will give us a string that will be that we'll be able to use within the context of the main assembly to make the selection. So let's just go ahead first of all and just declare right here or oh, let's go up. Doesn't matter since this is the uh, simple demonstration. So let's say selection name or the like of a better name as string and Selection, selection name equals to SW feature, get name for selection, the type obviously is roughly. Right. Now as uh, we are certain that there's going to be a right plane when we traverse the subassembly, then obviously this um, will not be null, this is going to have a value uh, when we break out of the uh, while loop. So now we will select the feature and finally we'll do that here. So select um, right plane. We will do that here but using the the assembly itself, the main assembly itself. So here our main assembly just um, ref we've referred to that assembly here as, as the model. So SW model extension and I don't really know why people don't like to use selects by ID2 but it has worked every time for me it's never failed me so um, select by ID2 we're gonna use the selection name here the type here is gonna be plain all in caps and then zero 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 since uh, we don't need any coordinates for selection um, append we'll make sure to clear the any previous selections mark doesn't even matter I'm just gonna put in zero Call out nothing and selection nothing and I'll make sure for one last time to explain this is I don't really care about the return. And let's just go ahead and try this. Um and perhaps let's just print this to the window. So print selection name and let's go ahead and try this. So, we're looking for this to be selected. So if we press on run and actually it does select uh, this plane here um, and the menace it gives us this 
pretty um, string. It has the feature itself and then the parent uh, component all the way up to the main assembly. So I hope this answers um, the question that was asked on the SOLIDWORKS uh, API forums. I um, look forward to making more cool videos like these and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.